my lovelies I hope you're all well so today we're going to take a box card project in design space and it's just a basic one and I'm going to show you how you can change it and personalize it it's really easy to do so if you go to projects and you type in box card you'll see there's quite a few here and you can pick any of them and change them because they're really easy to change I'm going to pick one of the Anna Griffin ones here so I'm going to choose the happy birthday one and it tells me everything I need and I'm just going to customize. So when it comes in, this is what it will look like. And you see there's an envelope which is over two cardstock pieces. I'm actually just going to get rid of those. I tend to not create the envelopes and actually I make these uh, bigger. So I add the embellishments and have them larger. So I normally will put it in a larger envelope that I've got. In terms of the design itself, there's not a lot that I need to do. I might want to change the text there. So all I'm going to do is ungroup it and I'm just going to get that piece of card there. And then these individual pieces, if I ungroup again, these are the tabs for my pop-up. So if I just get one, I can bring it over and the same with the other ones as well and I'm actually going to do this three there but there is room for this to do more so I'm actually going to duplicate that and I'm going to do five and that's about the max I would think these images are going to go like so and you need to make sure that when you add the images in that the bottom of them is not going over those score lines however the rest of it can it's just when you attach it you need to make sure you're not going to weld it to these pieces now you'll also see in this that these are all print and cut but they're on their own so if you print and cut on a paper or a printable you've got nothing to back it onto so I'm actually going to get my own images and show you how we have a cutout for the back and then how you do the print and cut as well so I'm just going to get rid of those so I'm going to go to images and I'm going to get some Halloween images so I've decided to do four images and you can see that I've just put them kind of where I want them roughly to be so that that's kind of how it's going to look now for each of these are going to be a print and cut but I also need them to go onto something solid because I'm going to print and cut them onto sticker paper so I'm going to duplicate each one now I'm not changing the sizes or anything so that's fine if I was going to change the sizes I would want to size everything first and then create the duplicates so once I've created the duplicate all I'm going to do is just weld everything together so this one's currently a print and cut so I'm going to change it to a no fill so it becomes solid I'm going to weld this one and I'm going to weld this one now with the house I want to change this slightly so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to contour and I'm just going to contour out those little pieces close it down now I want those not to cut out either so I'm going to duplicate that again and with the duplicate I'm just going to change it to white and I'm going to go to arrange and center front on my house and I don't need to change anything with it because I like the colors so all I'm going to do is draw around both a line and center them and then I'm going to flatten this one so it will cut it but because I've put it on that white background it won't actually cut out those pieces there so it will only cut out the outline the same with my witch I like her the way she is and actually with this I might do the same so it doesn't cut actually no I think it'll be fine but what I do want to do is change the colors so if I click on the layer I can then 
So this I want to be greener, I want it to be a brighter green. And if I go to advanced, I can really go nice and light. The dress, I want to change the colour on that. So let's go for a more purple colour. That area, I think we will go for a darker green. And then that will just do a slightly brighter yellow. So with this one, all I need to do is flatten it. So I've got my two print and cuts there. The same with my cat. I don't actually want to change any of that. And I can't because it's already set to a print and cut. So let's just leave that as it is. And then this one, let's just change the colours a bit. So let's go for a brighter orange. And I think we want a slightly brighter green. Let's go for a lighter grey. And then a slightly lighter grey there. And let's change that lightning bolt to a blue. And then all I do is highlight and flatten. So that's my actual print and cut images already. So now to actually add them to my tab. So if I come over, place this one here. And again, remember, you don't want it going over those score lines at the bottom, but at the top, it absolutely can. Now, each of these score lines, I need to detach them first. So if I click on the tab and I go to detach, they will automatically come to the top. I then need to hide them. And I need to make sure that that's overlapping slightly. I can then weld those together. Let's change them to a white colour and we can arrange and centre back and then we can unhide those score lines, draw around and attach. So exactly the same with this one, we're going to detach those score lines and they are going to go right to the top. Make sure we're happy with the placement and we can then hide them. We're going to highlight and weld. Again, let's change the colour to white. Arrange and centre back. Bring back those score lines and attach. Same with this one, detach the score lines. They're going to go to the top. We can hide them. We can then weld. We can, of course, change the colour to white so they all cut out on the same piece of cardstock. I'm going to arrange and centre back. I can bring my score lines back and attach. And then finally, with this one, we detach the score lines, hide them, weld that together. And I'm just going to use my contour on that just to, so they don't cut because there's no need for them to cut. So if I just select them, it will then turn it to a solid cut. I can change it to white, arrange, centre back and then bring those score lines back. And then of course I'm just going to attach it all back together. So that's what those tabs are then going to look like. I can cut these out in a patterned cardstock, which I think I'm probably going to do. And then with this, I can do lots with this. I can write on it, I can do a print and cut. My options are endless, I could foil. I think I'm just going to ungroup it. So it's currently set to print and cut, so all I'm gonna do is duplicate it. And I'm just going to change it to no fill. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to change the colour on it to white. I'm just going to reduce it down a bit. 
I'm then going to go to images and find a happy Halloween. So this I'm going to have just as a cut, so just a cut piece of cardstock. And then the white, I'm actually going to turn it to a print and I'm going to pattern fill it. So if I click on the colour box and change the print type to pattern, I can then choose a pattern that's in there or one that I've already uploaded. I can go to edit pattern. and I can change it so it suits my image better. So I think there's pretty good. I think I'm gonna get a little pumpkin. So if we go to images and search for pumpkin, they're quite sweet, so we'll choose them. And we'll just reduce them down. I like the colours, I like the colours of the text, so I don't want to change anything. I'm just going to highlight and flatten. So it will print as you see it, but it will only cut out that background shape because I've flattened my text and my image to it. So it will print it as you see it, but it will only cut out that background. I'm going to do these in a Halloween uh, craft board that I've got from Cricut, and I think... I'm going to have those slightly different colours. So if I click that layer, I'm going to do those ones an orange. And this one I'm going to do as a, I don't know, let's do them as a purple. And yeah, that one I'm going to do as black. But I'm just thinking, do I do four of them. In fact, I might do that. So I'm going to duplicate that four times. And I'm going to duplicate this four times. So one, two, three, and then the fourth one. And all I'm going to do is just change those. So I'm going to unflatten them. And I can do Keep the background but do different images. So I've got all my pieces there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight print and cuts, and then the rest are all cut. So if we go to make it, I'm using my maker, but of course you can use your air if you want to. If you're doing this on Joy, you'd have to manually create the score lines. And of course you can't print and cut on Joy either. So it says send to printer. And I always change my settings. So the first thing I do is I leave the bleed on now. They've changed the bleed recently. Before it used to be really obvious because it's a cut buffer. So it used to be this really obvious, I don't know what you would call it, but you it was it was really obvious blurring. Now it's actually part of the image. So all it does is bold the image which I really like. I always put my system dialog on and then I send to print and because my system dialog is on it's going to bring up my printer settings. So make sure I've got the right printer and go to preferences. Now with mine I use lots of different printables in there but I always need to make sure I change the type of paper so at the moment it's set to plain paper if I put printable sticker in a printable vinyl anything like that it will jam if I leave it on that setting so I always change it to photo paper glossy 2 and I always change the print quality from standard to high so I'm going to browse all materials and for my sticker paper, which is one I get from Amazon, I use the copy paper setting. So if I just search for copy, there we go. And then I'm going to use different card stocks for my card and I'm going to use my scoring wheel as well but if you haven't got the scoring wheel you've only got the scoring stylus if you go to edit tools you can then choose between the scoring wheel and the scoring stylus.